Hello, gosh, doesn't this all look all dusty and thing? I might need a need to make a new one of these sometime soon. You're slightly on the wonk as well, but that doesn't really matter, does it? No. Anyways, yeah, so I had um, a nice big box, about six kilos of jewelry come. I did overpay on it. Well, I mean, we'll see if we overpay. Let's just say I spent more than I wanted to really on it. But, you know, it was an auction. I got a bit carried away, a bit excited. And also because I haven't done one of these for, you know, a couple of weeks. So I thought I might as well do one for you guys. So, hey, let's see what we find. Um, yeah, it did cost me, uh, I think it was £85, including post, something like that. So, um... I've already seen there's a bunch of watches in there, which should be quite interesting. As you know, I like to separate them out as I go. So I will need... Have I got a broken bag on the way? I don't think I have. I'll grab a couple of bags. <clears throat> Ready to put stuff in. So most things, as you know, will go into job lots. And then some I like to sell. So, for example, we've got some hair things. Hair things go straight into like a, either into a broken lot or into a kiddies lot because they're not really for me. So, like, this thing will go into a kiddies lot, a little stretch bracelet. So, I'll put them aside there. Baggies, do like to keep just in case I sell something that's a little bit more expensive and I got a little nice baggie to, to put something in. We've got Noor London. Now is this actually? Oh, they're pretty. Are they silver? Oh yeah, they look like they're silver. They're quite nice. They all kind of wave hook earrings. Yeah, they look silver to me. Yeah, I can see a 95 mark. Oh, there we go. A little bit of silver. I'm not expecting much more because this is from... A charity so I presume that it has been gone through quite a bit as they should obviously who's this at something London just looks like costume plastic I mean they're really pretty together that looks like it's a probably but it's plastic really lovely colors colors together but not something for my store, so as you know, it goes into a two kilo bag. That's why my two kilo bags, people generally like them, because they tend to get a lot of modern costume jewellery in it, which is just stuff that I'm not all that interested in, really, to be honest. Right, these are quite nice. I was just checking the backs to make sure that they're not gold. Looks like it's gold plated. These are probably going to vintage lot. Be kind of fun, a bit Christmassy. String pearls? Are they real pearls? Nope. Just plastic ones. They'll go into my pearly lot. And we've got a watch. Tudor. It's missing its winder on the side. That's a shame. A presentation to A. Lawrence from colleagues of the Hull Corporation Telephone Limited for Telephone Department 44 years. May 1958. Wow, I bet, I bet that's gold. That might be a good spares repair thing because I bet that's quite a nice watch. So we'll keep that aside. There's like a potential. I might put them silver in there. That's cool. Pelex. Never heard of it. Japanese movement. We've got some what feels like wooden beads. Or like a um, coconut shell, maybe. Yep, good like boho stuff. You could do like, if you wanted to, like a boho thing of jewellery. That's some more costume. I saw this in the picture and I was like, oh, I wonder if that's amber, but seeing it now, no, it is just plastic, but that is sea salt, and I'm presuming it came off of that. What does that say? Two sisters necklace. 
But that is the sea salt logo, see? I don't know. I'll look that up. See if that is actually what it's meant to be. But there we go. Sea salt is a nice brand, so that might be something that I would sell anyway. Oh wow, look at that. That's fabulous. Like gold foil. Is it Marks and Spencers? Yeah. That's cool. Very retro looking. But again, it's going in the two kilos. That's a bit of vintage. So that's from a vintage lot made from Eloxol steel. Very lightweight. Pretty little friendship bracelet. Rose gold. Lots of sparkly stones in it. Probably gold plated. But that goes in there. I've got a bit of... Right. Now that one is a faux Pandora. A Fandora. But what's this one? Can't see any marks. But I've got like a little um, European charm bracelet lot that those can go into. A little bit of stone. It looks like it might, yeah, it's a sterling silver clasp. So those might be sterling silver long beads there. Some kind of interesting stones. I'll keep that aside and I'll test the beads on that. Pretty little heart with little sparklies. Marks and Spencers, yep. Marks and Spencers. Plastic pebble beads. And little gold ones in between. Again, this looks like it's glass, but it's not it's plastic. Nice colours together though. Like a crackle sort of effect. Quite pretty. Some more hair bits to go into. That's quite nice though. It looks a bit gothic, doesn't it? But that'll go into Kitty's dress up lot. That's quite cute with the stars. Is that silver? Nope. That's quite nice though. Little probably mother of pearl stars. Put them there. And we've got some more Marks and Spencers, some abalone, baloney. And then this quite long one. Statement necklace. Quite good condition. These little yellowy plastic beads. A very retro blue one. Like slightly graduated. Ooh, sounds nice. Going back in there. It's quite long station one. Just needs a bit of a clean up while this comes off. Plastic again. That's quite cute. These unusual are they glass? Plastic, acrylic probably. Unusual though. I might keep that one aside because it's a bit of a weird one. I like weird stuff to go in my shop. Little pinky and purpley ones. Jangly one. A nice heart in the middle. Mm, this one might go in my beachy lot. Because that's a rather fabulous bib one, isn't it? Yeah, but I'll keep that aside for beach lot. I've got a couple of boxes here. Past times bag. Looks like amethyst possibly or just like crackle glass. Sterling silver clasp. It's probably from peace of mind. They tend to do lots of like gift shops and like garden centers and stuff but it does they normally have a tag on it. it might be raw amethyst. I can test it. I'll put that aside. And we'll have the bag and the box. In here we've got some faux pills, modern bib plastic. They'll go in the faux pearly lot. And I shall take the box. Thank you. Another watch. Oh, that looks like a beast. 
Daniel Hector. That looks so 70s, doesn't it? Hmm, still got that on the back. Maybe even more modern then. Not real leather, but very retro looking. I'll probably end up in a watch's lot if it's not worth much. Now, I did show this one in the video yesterday. Now, I know that is an expensive brand, but I think this is like the sort of, you know, cheaper, cheaper, the aristocrats of time. Like some of these can get like hundreds of pounds. Don't think this is one of those ones, but it's still nice. It's got, oh wait, there you go. Model Marquis. £445 when it was new. Oh, well, there we go. Is it a wind-up? I think it is. No. No, it is a quartz watch, so it does need a battery. Hmm. Might take that. I mean, like, that looks pretty good. That it's got all of this. 18 carat electroplated. It's the same model number. Hmm. And it's got little tool so that you can add or take out links. Wow, that could be interesting, isn't it? I mean, I reckon that's my money back right there on all that lot. So that's cool. We can chillax a little bit. A little baggy of stuff here. Let's see what's inside. We have got some earrings. I'm doing new with tags, earrings, like little job lots. So that can go into a job lot. That goes in the bin. There's just some little studs there, nothing too interesting. And then some crazy hoops with a whole bunch of tassels on. That can also go in two kilos. And then another big watch. Oh my God, that's a boost. Carsedon Quartz. That is a heck of a watch, isn't it? Look at that. So again, we'll look that up, but if it's nothing too tremendous, it'll go into a lot. Oh, little stud earrings like a Christmas tree. I think, I mean, is it too early to start a Christmas, uh, Christmassy lot? Never too early. Sod it, let's do it. See, that's quite nice. I would have said that this would be a sea salt looking necklace. Hang on, there's a bloody hair clip. Honestly, it looks quite old though, the hair clip, doesn't it? Might put that in the vintage lot just as an extra little bit. But that looks like something sea salt would make. I'm sure I've had a bracelet like that before. So that would be something I'd sell anyway, just because it's, uh, it's quite unusual. So I'll keep that aside. A sparkly hair thing going into kiddies lot. And another one. And a little green sparkly attached to this, which I don't think is anything. It looks like a, no, it's pretty gold tone. I mean, that's quite pretty, but it's got no maker on it. And then what we got here, is it some kind of stone? It is, but what's going in there? These little friendship bracelet hand braided ones. Key rings, I do a separate lot of those as well. Looks like we've got some. Oh, I've had these ones before and some hair. Some little red enamel cats, that's cute. That's something I'll sell. Because it's kitty cats. Got some cufflinks by Next. They'll probably go into a cufflinks lot. They're not bad. Buckingham jewellery. Would we say that was Buckingham? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll keep it in there and that can go two kilos. And got a little 
heart shaped box with a little ring in it that looks like um what do you call it a bit like millefiori but it's not it is glass though glass domes it looks a bit like kateness actually kateness put that the right way around but that'll probably go into a rings job lot i should imagine Glass beads, Marks and Spencers. Yep, Marks and Spencers. Actim. A clock. A little bedside clock. So, not jewellery. So, what's it doing in a jewellery lot? I don't know. Anyway. Some more faux pearls. Go in a pearly lot. <clears throat> a nomination blank bracelet, no charms on there. But they'll still sell. I'll still put that for sale. I sold one not so long ago, so I could probably just do a relist on that. Stretchy bracelet. Still got decent stretch on it. Looks like it's got all of its stones. Quite pretty. Nothing going in the broken yet, so that's good. A bit of a Gerda Lingard style. It's got Tibetan silver beads on it. That might be something I'll sell separately because it's quite unusual. Good for the summer. Bit tribal ethnic boho festival, all about shenanigans. I'll keep that aside. A little pocket watch. Probably quite modern, probably one of those ones that came on the front of a magazine, you know. Anyway, I won't bother opening it, but um, yeah, I don't think it's particularly old, so that'll probably end up in a watches lot. Got this long blue and silvery pebbly necklace, multicolored wood one. I like those plastic ones there. Bit of faux hematite which just needs its thing put back on there quick easy fix and done there you go and a bit of hair lovely lovely little sparkly what's this oh is it a wrap around or oh, a collar necklace i don't know oh it is a necklace isn't it yeah don't and a blue one, and then what are you? Oh, our first bit of broken. Just a bit of chain. There we go. And keep the baggy. What's this? What's this? Do, 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 do. Oh, like a bib necklace. Go on a bit like that. That's bonkers. That's going in there. Some reason there's just a, a load of little stars in there. Like, there we are. Right, what's this all about? It's got all this. Oh, it's got Gemini all over it. Gemini. Is that a Mika's thing? No idea. I wonder if someone's handmade that, maybe. No? Well, they price it up at £21, whoever they are. Unusual. What do you reckon? There's a cha-cha thing. It's weird. I'm not sure if I like it. I think I'm just going to put it in two kilos because it just, it weirds me. Um, Little kiddies watch. I'll put that in there. Kiddies lot. Out. Got some earrings here, look quite pretty. I'm not sh don't think they're silver, they're probably silver plate. Nice though, little pink hearts. 
sparkly hearts but they all go in two kilo I wonder if I'll just if there's a few pairs of earrings I'll put them all back in the same bag maybe oh that's cute look at that we've got a little brooch with matching earrings and look at the little flower pot that's cute. Can't see a maker on it. It's just a shame. But I might sell them just because it's got the brooch with it and that's that's obviously quite sweet. Hey, a little job lot of um, lobster claws, lobster clasps. I'll put that in broken crafter stuff so we'll appreciate that. Some faux pearls. Yep, faux pearls. What was that? Oh, fine art keyring, clear concepts. I'll put that in the keyring slot. See, I nearly, I'm like, oh, do I sell it? But no, I think, yeah. That's quite pretty. Looks like something um, accessories would do. So that's going in two kilos. See, I'm, I'm ruthless, you know ruthless unusual stones there lots of different colors probably dyed nice though handmade someone's strung that together and put a toggle clasp on it thank you for the baggy again a bit of like faux hematite someone's made that as well probably the contents of someone's like craft store or something another little key ring the key rings up that'd be like coconut shell some rubbish some rings be gold be gold they won't be gold um that one i'll put in my holiday lot it's a bit bohemian looking rings lot same yeah these aren't gold obviously they're not gold why would they be gold? That's quite cute with the little stars. No maker, little friendship bracelet. Probably gold plated, but that goes in two kilos. I know I could sell it, but I'm not going to. Nice Rivoli stones there from Marks and Spencers. I'm going in two kilos. Look out for this jewelry though, because it's actually quite a good one. <laughs> And we've got some faux pills. They're evil, those ones, though. An odd earring. It's odd for now. Not going to be in a minute. God, another cha cha one. With all different barrel beads and things. And they priced that one at 21 as well. Give me an egg. I mean, it's nice, but twenty-one pounds. Jeezy. It's quite a nice box, isn't it? Quite pretty. Hmm. Keep that aside. Don't think this is silver, no. Well, it's got a good clasp on it, but no, it's not silver. Little faux pills, lots of sparkles, quite pretty. Two kilos. God, am I going to keep anything? French Connection watch will go into a watch's lot. That's a nice two-tone bangle, isn't it? Very Studio 54. Um, Mia. What's that? Top Journal France. Okay, that's going to be broken because I don't even know what that's all about. A little sparkly heart there. A lot of them together. Looks silver plated, I think. And then this one looks like Peru now with a little daisy in it. These are all going to go. I say they're all going to go in two kilos. It's probably way over two kilos now. So I'll have to divide it up. Um, ooh, some piles with a nice... Sterling silver clasp, three colours of pearl, 
and they're real. They've got a nice luster on them. They're not quite round, so these are cultured pearls. Nice though. I'll sell them. But I shall keep the box. Another jangly bracelet. This one's got little hearts on it and stuff. Cute. And here we get the tangle. Okay. Okay. Oh, but that is a. That's quite nice. Unusual. Again, a bit of a Gerda Lingard money style. There's no tag on it, which is a shame. But again, it's quite unusual. This bib and beads, this kind of coppery sort of mermaid tail. Glass. It's only just got like a hook on there though, but I'm gonna sell that one. That's gonna go in my shop at some point. Who knows? Oh lordy. I'm not even sure if I could be bothered to untangle these bits, you know. They can all just go together. don't think there's anything that excites me in there. I'm going to need another bag for sure. Scoot beef. Another of pearl chip necklace, another key ring, parroted, and that can go in kiddies. Just a bit of string. Don't know what they are. That can go in craft. Little ceramic stone, not silver, probably silver plate. Oh, that's sea salt, right, I reckon. Because it said something about sisters, didn't it? I reckon it's that. You know? Yeah, I think so. I think so, so there we go. And glass earrings, I'll pop them in there. Some enamel earrings, they'll probably go into my shop, so I'll keep them aside. Some vintage faux pearls will go into a pearly lot. Hair clip, little. Not silver bracelet, and a little wrap, sort of faux leather one. Kahuna, that'll probably go into a watches lot. Grab some more watches. Coming towards the end now. Maybe at the end. Another baggy, another hair thing, a seconda watch. Pelex. This one just says smart. Smart watch. Tissot. Swiss made. That might be quite nice. I'll check that one out. Tissot. So that's one to check out for sure. Oh, cute little golfer dude brooch. So that'll go in the shop. Oh, little Tinkerbell theory that'll go in kids' lot. Some little beady bits. 
another key ring, another unsilver, got some tiger's eye chips, a loan cufflink. That I'll probably put in the beachy lot because it's got the nice like turquoisey colour. And these shell earrings, put in there. Another hair thing. A stretch, like nomination style, but it's not branded or anything. And a little beady friendship bracelet. Nearly at the end, first couple of handfuls. Let's get it all on. everything okay so hair clip another little sparkly brooch I'll put in the kiddies lot that's a faux Pandora and a random bead another watch just a Marks and Spencer's one a little kiddies butterfly one that I'll put in the kids lot hair clip for kids lot Quite a substantial glass necklace. Oh, I think it's pe yeah, it's peeling off all of the black. So that's going in broken. Some little earrings that say 95 on them, so yay! We've got a second pair of silver earrings. So just little st CZ studs. There we go. Won't get me much back, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, sparkly things. That's cool. From white stuff. That'll go into my brand new with tags earrings lot. Just a compact mirror. I'll put that in with broken bits. Oh, that's quite nice. Looks like it might be a Swarovski crystal. Don't know what it says on there. Don't know that brand. It just looks like a weird flower thing. It's nice. I might sell that one just because I really like the stone in it. It's not silver. It's probably silver plated, but there we go. Another one of them kiddie band things. I've seen that one. Um, next watch. Some more. Enamel earrings. Sell those. Some more faux pearls for a pearly lot. Is there anything in here? Yes, there is. This is going to be a chain that says it's silver, but it won't be. Yeah, it's got the little tag on it and it's stamped 925, but I'll bet you any money that that's not silver. So we'll keep it aside to test it, even though we know. Some more earrings, which I will put in that little baggie there. Another hair thing for kiddies lot. That's a rather good a Lingard style bracelet as well but no tag no another quite pretty little bracelet it's probably handmade little stretch oh it's got no pendant i'll pop it in there because you never know someone might have a pendant a whole bunch of these are like the Indian wedding jewellery bangles and I've got a job lot of those on the go so I'll add it to them. Little made with love, little angel bracelet. Another vintage hair thing. Some more earrings. I've got little blue sparkly crystal-y ones. These. There's some quite nice fused glass ones. But they all go in there and eventually into the two kilo bag. Another beady bracelet. A 
come on, come out. And what have we got here? Oh, it's broken earring. Oh, what am I doing? Solo earrings locked. Um, fun little pair there. Little pair of clip-ons. They're quite nice. And then in there. And then these. Again, little clip-ons. I think they're vintage ones. Put them there. Another watch. It's like Midi Fiori style glass on it. It's probably from uh, like a QVC brand. That'll go into a watcher's lot. Who are you? Avia? What's it say? Yeah, Avia, stainless steel. I don't know if that's a brand or anything. It's a nice box. Just like a box. But that'll probably go into a lot. And this is the last little bit here. So let's pray for a big bag of gold, which it won't be. Um, just a little wrap around bracelet, magnet clasp. Yeah. This, I bought one similar not so long ago. I think it's silver plated. It's got a bit of a ding to it. But it's a handsome shape. You can see where it's moulded there. Nice little bit of stone there. Blue speckly stone. Some wooden jangly beads. Another leather wraparound one. And then this is the last one. Which looks a bit Marks and Spencery maybe. Long tassel on it. That's it. And I'll put the earrings in there as well. So, okay. So the interesting things really there were the watches, weren't they? We've got lots of stuff to go into job lots. A few things for me to sell separately. A couple of nice big beaded necklace, a bit good, a Lingard style. The pearls with the um, sterling silver clasp, um, a nice little brooch, the earrings, a few enamel earrings and stuff. But yeah, the watches are the, um, the most interesting things. I think these ones, they were probably the most interesting ones, weren't they? I think the other ones are just thingy brands, but... I mean, that's potentially a, a winner if it's a real one, which, I mean, it's got all its bits and its certificate, so I don't see why not. And then that watch, and then we were going to just test a couple of things here, weren't we, to make sure they're not silver. We have got two pairs of silver earrings for sure. I'm going to test that for amethyst. Test that for silver. Test these for silver. So I do do do. Right. Remember ages ago I was like, oh my god, my presidium tester doesn't work. Well, it was the battery compartment that for some reason had given it the ghost. So I've got a plug adapter instead. And that's what was wrong with it. I thought I would have to buy a brand new one. But no, it was fine in the end. Which is good. Right. So I put all my bloody boxes there in the way if I'm getting to them. There it is. Whoa. Okay. So when I'm scratching this on there, half of the time you don't even need to use the acid to test it because it will come up with a pinky colour, which is like the copper underneath that is scratching quite nice i mean i'll do the clasp as well even though i reckon the clasp is silver so that's them two and then this one which i'm betting won't be and i'm correct that is scratching like a nice dark pink so that is not silver um we'll just quickly put Blob, blob, and if you can see, it's gone a bright red, which means that yes, those beads on there are silver. 
so that's cool and then i'm not going to calibrate this i'm literally just going to see if it comes up with it being ah there we go and it is in the realms of amethyst so yes that is an amethyst and sterling silver necklace so here we go that's all right um like i said the jewelry wasn't the most exciting it is probably the watches where i'll get the money back on that one so there you go i hope you've enjoyed if there's anything here that you fancied for yourself please do oh you know a gift for someone else but mainly for yourself because you know you deserve it um uh, please do message me my email address is in the description box underneath this video um or you can message me through instagram um but email is probably better because messages disappear on instagram like i'm sure i had one the other day about something um, but I was in the cinema at the time. I think I was in the cinema. And uh, then I went to find it again and I couldn't find it. So that's just weird. So email's probably better. Yes. Right, until next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Actually, just looking up this um, this one, that's a complete lie. They were never sold at that price. The best price that one is sold at has been £18. I've got the box and the thing on that one. I'm going to go for twenty twenty five. Um, so overall, it's not been the greatest, but it's all right. I'll still make money because I always do. Yay!